flip seat. And I also think that in a sort of Nixon goes to China moment, I think in some ways it could have only been someone like Trump who has tried to carve out this brand as this tough, tough on guy, crime. Yeah. tough on crime, law mm-hmm. and order kind of guy uh, th- that could be able to do this. I mean, it, it's not hard to imagine an alternate universe where Trump's not the president and he's on the outside sort of making the arguments about why this is dangerous, why we shouldn't be releasing people early. So, I mean, kudos to Jared Kushner for, for getting the president there on this right. issue and getting something done. And kudos to President Trump. I, I don't care. Wait, wait what did you just say? Yes. No, I completely salute him for this. Mm-hmm. This is an important uh, piece of legislation. He supported it. It would not have passed a Republican mm-hmm. House, a Republican Senate without him. Mm-hmm. It's important that his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, weighed in. And I'm all for thanking staff. But this is the president. And he deserves credit for this. Uh, I'm very proud. Our colleague, Van Jones, has been working on this for years. Long yeah. Shout out to Mike Trump. Lee, too, who carried it in the yeah. Senate. Yes. I think he deserves a lot of credit. Mike Lee, well. a Republican. Mm-hmm. Dick Durbin, a Democrat. Sure. But uh, honestly, you know, as you know, I'm not his biggest fan. The president deserves credit for this. This should reflect uh, well in his legacy. So speaking of bipartisan. 